Welcome to Melbourne Analysis for Hedgehogs. We continue with the entire reversing series, which I haven't done for quite a long time. So um, today we look into an anti-dump technique, which is called header erase. And let me showcase this. I wrote some uh, a minimal ASM code to show this. And here it is. So it's, it's pretty short for assembly. Uh, what are we doing, basically? Um, the idea behind this, and that's not my idea, right? I just wrote the code. Uh, the idea behind this is if you, once the process is loaded, you just erase the header of the process and then dumping tools will not be able to dump the file anymore because the header is missing. And that's what's happening here. We will call get module handle A with with zero, so we get the module handle to our own process. After that, we use virtual protect to make the um, to be able to write to the header. Usually, the memory memory region of the header is not writable, and it shouldn't be, but we need that to erase it. And so we call virtual protect on it using um, using EAX. Here's the address of the starting page because that's the return value of get module handle A. Um, the size it's the size of the bytes. Um, so EAX, what's an EAX plus size? That's the region where we want to change the protection constants. Um, why is it one? Because it will change the protection protection constants for the whole page and not just for this one byte, right? We have memory pages and everything that's done is done to the whole page here. So you can also read that up. It will also state this right here. The region of affected pages includes all pages containing one or more bytes in range, blah, blah, blah. So if you put a two byte range, it could happen that you change the protection attributes for two pages and not just one, if, if it's right on the page boundary, yeah. Um, the next um, argument is um, the memory protection options, so the constants say here page read write, which is constant four, and yeah, so that's also what we have here. And then you need uh, to provide an, an argument where it puts the old protection constants in case you want to reverse them, I guess. Um, yeah, so they are not lost. Um, then is the actual header erasure right here. We um, use uh, this to fill a region of a thousand hex bytes into uh, to fill it with zero bytes. So and then we show our message box. So the message box is there, so you have time to open your tool and dump it. So it's just for convenience. And um, now I compile this. So if you click on that, it says set a race, not try to dump it. And if with the usual tools, this will not work. Okay, let's take a look into this with. Um, x32 dbg you can also use oli and oli dump you will have the same results there um, for instance now now that this is running i could try to attach um, using skilla and try to dump this uh, to the desktop yes and it says well error invalid p for invalid p error so it doesn't work right now let's open up the thing here. Um, we are at the entry point. If you are not at the entry point, you have to change the preferences and place only a check mark right here, save this, reload, and you are at the entry point. Um, so that's the same code I just showed you in Notepad++. So it does the same and you can now see what happens in the memory right here. That's the portion where the header is in. 
you see we have only rights to read this area it's a thousand bytes and we can check it out in the dump window you see here's the header everything's fine right and uh, now we may step a few times uh, after the virtual protect call you see that the protection attributes changed here and there's now there are now rights to um, write to that area and if we go even over this call we will erase the header at this point you are still able to dump the file to showcase this we save this it says dump success and you can see yes it's indeed here on the desktop there's our dump everything worked fine and if you step over this check out the dump um, window you see now it's erased and we cannot dump it anymore so well the same thing that we saw right before right okay save yes we replace it and it says invalid pe header or pe file so that's it already um if you want to get around it you would probably just try to avoid that the erasure so if you find the code that erases the header just somehow get rid of that code jump over it whatever um yeah that's neat but then anyways it will prevent um maybe prevent also automatic dumping or like generic dumping tools um yeah that's it uh, and thanks for watching and see you next time